Hello world patriots. How are we all doing out there today? Good, that's good. I've got a little video for you today. Do you want to have a look? Have a look. Tell me what you think. See if there's anything strange going on here. See you after the video. What are you doing? Use your words. What are you doing? Use your words. What are you doing? Use your words. What is going on? Who are you? NLG will get you out. What's your name? Tell us your name. Okay, you're fine. We'll get you out. We got you, friend. We got you. The fuck? NLG. You just violated their rights. People. You just violated their rights. Did you pick anything up out of that? Out of that video? Anything weird, strange? Yeah, like they didn't say a word, did they? Yet yeah, they put handcuffs on him. No coppers going to risk their job. If they haven't already left the force after this George Floyd thing, they're not going to risk their job not doing it properly. So, have a little think about it. They're not going to risk their job. They haven't already left the force. There's not much going on at the moment, like work wise. It's a bit of a struggle for everyone. Unless you want to be a bloody COVID tracker or something. <laughs> Career COVID worker. <laughs> yeah, mate, like, that sounds great. Nah. Nah. This is, this is a setup. A setup. They're, they're doing this. These, that was a full-on show. It was an act. An act to stir up the Black Lives Matter drongos again. And I call them drongos because who tears up your own town? Your own people's stores and clubs and pubs and whatever you want to call them. You don't. It's that simple. You don't. You don't do it. And I've seen enough videos of coppers saying, these people aren't from around here. And then you see all the videos of people saying, look at all these people going to where the riots are. These people aren't dumb. They've put two and two together. Between the air flight hostesses noticing all the nervous first time flyer young black people all heading to the same place. You think it's planned? <laughs> of course it was. You'd have to be silly not to realise it. You know. For starters, look at look at the Black Lives Matter webpage. Click the donate button. It takes you to another site run by AdBlue. Go to the AdBlue website. What do they do? Have a look at how much went to Bernie Sanders. Now, three million. Three million dollars to Bernie Sanders. Hmm. Are there any Democrats on that list? Oh yeah, actually, they're all Democrats. Are there any Republicans at all? No, none. They solely donate to the Democrats. You want to know how Joe Biden can raise more money than Trump in a week? And that bloke can't even get you know, what, 12 people to a rally and has to pay them? <laughs> Do you know what 12 people in a room, a big room, clapping sounds like? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we 
Trump, Trump, Trump's got the Democrats that scared that the Democrats are calling up, getting tickets to Trump rallies just to, not to show up because they think that's going to do damage to him. <laughs> but why would they do that if they weren't scared? They're petrified. You can see it in their eyes. They're petrified. <laughs> Silly people. Anyway, I digress. So, yeah, they, these guys aren't going to risk their job if they're still on the force. It's just not going to happen. And you, you know what the biggest clincher is? You know, the biggest tell in this whole little scandal video is... Oh, oh, mate. Yeah, the, the fake copper. Because they're obviously fake actors and, and <laughs> piss poor ones at that. Yeah, our, doc, our Dr. D, mate, he, point, he pointed something out. I thought, oh, that's pretty interesting. He goes, the only reason they wouldn't talk is because they wouldn't want to let something out. You know, hiding something. Hiding something. No, what? <laughs> that, that, no Miranda rights, no nothing. No cop is going to risk losing his job, losing a conviction because he didn't do the right thing. No. I, I know that, that dickhead, George Floyd thing. Mate, he, he was a, a rancid cop. He knew George Floyd. They knew each other. It was probably bumps. <laughs> yeah, with drugs. More than likely drugs. You know. That copper was probably selling the drugs. George Floyd probably found out about it. And he was probably going to fucking dog him. <laughs> he deserved it, like, don't get me wrong. Not George Floyd, the copper deserved it. You know, he deserved to go to jail. They probably injected George with something, mate, or had him held down like that. You know, who knows? Who fucking knows? It's weird. Definitely weird. Anyway, I digress again. <laughs> So, well, let's, let's have a little look at it. So, the, the coppers don't say a word, they arrest him, they walk him off, and they put him in a, in a mum's soccer car. What? And you know what the biggest tell is? You know what the biggest clincher is? It was his mum's car. Obviously. Yeah, like, <laughs> man, it was... Have a close look. Man, there'd be a whole heap of students, I reckon, that would say, holy shit, man, that was my drama teacher. Man, the school's full of so, so full of left-hard bloody teachers teaching this liberal way of living. Like, oh, you can choose your sex. It's, uh, you know, the constraints of fucking shit. You know, throw off the shackles of you know, fucking society and you can choose what sex you are, you know, like, you know, have a pronoun or something, you know. Probably thinking it's like some fucking wicked drug, but no. <laughs> Man, just fucking these kids up. Just fucking these kids up, like, royally in the head. Making them think that socialism's fucking good and shit, like... <laughs> Like, these dickheads idolise, like, people like Fidel Castro, who, like, just killed shitloads of people, you know. You don't have to believe me. Have a, have a little fucking look. Do some research, people. I'm telling you. Anyway, the biggest clincher is, the number plate's blurred. Why would you blur the number plate? If you, unless you're scared. Scared. Scared that people have found out that you borrowed your mum's car. <laughs> you, you you come up out of your fucking, you know, your basement dwelling <laughs> with you, you know, no fucking windows and that, and you come out and you're all white and like you're like, oh mum, can I borrow the car for a minute? Oh, you know, I've got a little job to do. Oh, your mum would be like, you got a job? 
Sure, son. I'm so proud. Oh. And then you go pick up your mate, you know, he's got, you know, the uniforms and shit and you get all dressed up and you're like, oh man, this is going to be so cool. It's going to be so rad, man. <laughs> this is going to be so cool. And then you go to do the job and, and you shit yourself and you, you're afraid of saying the wrong thing so you just don't say nothing and, you know, you, you still play out the rest of the act. <laughs> shit actors. Shit actors. Man, have, have a look. Have a look at it. Every... Every country where there's been a, you know, a, a grassroots sort of rising, you know, and um, American CIA have been in there and fucking done this shit, and they're doing the same shit. It's the CIA. It's it's a play for play CIA scam to stir up the people to throw out the current government. Women. <laughs> it it's a, it's the same scam over and over and over and over again. You know, that, mind you, this sort of change with Syria, you, you might not like, like the bloke that's running the place, but I tell you what, he's the only, he's the first one that has survived it so far. <laughs> Good enough he didn't, poor bastard, trying to go on the gold standard. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Look at the bloke from Tanzania. It was president. So, yeah, he was a bit unsure about this whole you know, coronavirus testing thing. So he, uh, <laughs> he got his lads to uh, to take samples from a mango, or, no, sorry, a pawpaw and a bloody goat and, and a chicken or something, and they came back positive for COVID. He... Now, he, he's dead. Apparently died from a heart attack even though he looked bloody healthy to me in the video I've seen of him, <laughs> like, days before. Was that you, Hillary Clinton? Was that another one for your list of people that you've murdered or had murdered because we know you only kill kids? <laughs> you fucking... I hate her so much, hey. I don't really hate too many people. I try not to hate. But I really hate her. Definitely on the list. Yeah, her. Governor and mayor, New York, New York City. My list. Shit list. Thanks. Thanks for watching, guys. Where we go, one, we go all. Guys, if you you should check out our Doctor D in Revelations, uh, Space Shot seventy six, uh, Red Pill seventy eight. Um, yeah, there's there's a few good ones to start with. These guys are really good. They do their research.